Hey guys, I just want to give you a quick rundown of um, how the quizzes work in my math lab. Um, you'll find it's very similar to the homeworks, but there are just a couple of differences. So um, I'm just going to go into the shell. Uh, just like the homework, you can either access it going directly into the shell, or you can go into the uh, my math lab calendar, and you should see uh, the quizzes there. For example, the first quiz is right here. There. Um, instead of circles, they're squares. Um, so we'll just go into the first quiz, um, or if you're coming at it from this way, you can click on homework and quizzes and find it right here. Um, so you'll see um, a couple of things here. Um, you have a due date, but then you have the number of attempts. So the way this works is I give you five attempts on the quiz, um, but it's not like a homework where you know immediately whether or not you got a question correct. You have to basically do the entire quiz and then you'll see your score. Um, and then after that, you can go back and try it again. So if there's some questions that you get wrong and you wanna go back and study those types of questions, you can do that and then go back and take the quiz. Um, you should be able to make you know a really high grade on the quiz if you put the time into it, similar to the homework. So it's kind of to make sure that uh, you're really understanding the material. Um, whatever you make, I'll take the highest attempt. So um, if you take it the first time and make a 90, and then you take it a second time to try to get your score higher, but you only make an 80%, that 90% will stand. So whatever the highest score is is what counts in the gradebook, not whatever the most recent uh, whatever the most recent score. Uh, so once you start it, so just to kind of show you how this works, I'm just going to put in some numbers here. I'm not going to do the calculation. Um, so that's what I'm going to put in for my uh, first answer. Don't hit submit quiz until you're ready to submit the entire thing. So um, just like the homework, you can jump around, but I'm just going to go ahead and jump to a different one. And that should be, yeah, it saved my answers there. So um, I'm just going to do a couple of these just so you can kind of see how this works. I'm not really doing the calculations, but I'm just kind of going through the quiz. Uh, all right, so I think that's enough right now. I'm just gonna leave the other ones blank. Uh, so I'm gonna submit the quiz. It says I haven't completed five of the questions. That's okay, I've just submitted anyway. So you can kind of see what happens. All right, so now at this point I can go back and review the quiz. Now, obviously I wasn't actually taking this for real, so I got all these questions incorrect. Anything you got correct would get a question mark and you would get credit for it. So I got a 0% on this quiz. Um, I can review it. And um, it'll show, if I highlight it, it'll show me what I put in as my answer and then this is the actual answer. So I can go back and figure out maybe what I did wrong on each of these. Um, I think once you close it, you can't review it anymore. So uh, make sure that you review it uh, uh, as you go uh, through this first time through. So let's see. All right, so um, I, now that I close that out, what I can do is I can go in and uh, I can do another attempt. So I've done one of my five attempts, so I can just start the test again. Um, all right, so if this one, like the slope of the line, is going to be two, three, four, five. I think it's negative one sixth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, so be careful on those. Make sure to uh, count. All right, so I'm just going to do a couple of these, just so I get a score that's higher than zero percent. Um, this one, uh, x-intercept, uh, I could figure it out, but it might take me a little while. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and submit this quiz. All right, so this time I got a 10%. Okay, so right now in my grade book, um, this is what is using as my quiz grade. I replaced that 0%. Uh, so again, you can review the test and close. You also notice that um, there's no question help on the quiz. So like as you take these, um, it's not like the homework. So um, I've got two attempts, two out of five already, so I can start it again, do another attempt. Um, as I mentioned, there's no, there's no home, there's no uh, help me solve this or anything like that. So that's how it's different than the homework as well. Um, so anyway, you can take this up to five times. 
I would recommend maybe taking it once, at least a couple days before it's due, so that way you have maybe a couple of days to work on it. Um, if you put the time into it, you should be able to get a, a, a pretty high score on it. Um, so I think that's a good introduction. If you have any questions, um, of course, just uh, let me know.